Day three of fleet racing at the RC44 Portsmouth Cup again proved how competitive these one designs are, with nine races sailed and seven different winners in the fleet of 11. Great racing, absolutely fantastic. Uh, it was a bit uh, light in the beginning, but as the day went on, uh, uh, sailing conditions improved, and uh, no, it was great. Artemis Racing, driven by Torben Tornquist, got off to a strong start to lead today's opening race, becoming the first team to score a second race win here in Portsmouth. This opening race of the penultimate day also put smiles on the faces of Blackwater team. Racing in a hugely experienced fleet, this newbie team managed to secure a third place finish despite the RC44 Portsmouth Cup being only Blackwater team's second ever event on the circuit. We saw once uh, as a guest uh, the match races and from then we decided to enter the, the competition. Uh, we were sailing in Moscow, <laughs> not having the sea it was uh, quite difficult to train but uh, we, we have a small lake and we used mainly the lake to train before. It, it was, uh, it was a sp split love between three guys, three friends, so we, 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 could, we couldn't decide who, who, who gonna helm the, the boat. So. Yeah, the three of us decided to form this team. Of course, it was uh, very, very challenging in the beginning, but uh, after each race, uh, we gain in some experience, and this experience we use in the next uh, in the next races. After a delay waiting for the wind to fill in, race two was when Nico Poons' charisma blitzed the start and led to the finish to become the seventh team to score a race win here. Yeah, just the fleet is uh, so close and uh, everybody is, uh, is very high level, so you do one mistake and you pay for it hard. Uh, so it's, it's very hard to stay consistent and uh, it's, there's not, not a magic recipe for it. As in today's second race, the third was held in a more typical southwesterly wind. In this, Vladimir Prosikin's team Nika scored her second race win, consolidating her position at the top of the RC44 Portsmouth Cup leaderboard with a 12-point advantage. Oddly at this event, every team is putting in occasional poor finishes. As a result, two of today's top scorers were not race winners. Katusha, skipper by Vladimir Sokolov, shuffled up the leaderboard to third overall with a 11-3-2 score today. Hugh Lepic's French team on Aleph Racing also had two superb results, a 4 and a 2, but ended with a disappointing 10th. Going into the final day, Team Nika is certainly the boat to beat. But while solidly ahead, her position is by no means assured, with any of the top 10 boats still theoretically able to win. Tomorrow the moment of truth will arrive. <laughs>